Hey guys, this is TK. In this video I would like to demonstrate uh, Ubuntu Syslog server and how to get Syslog messages from a uh, Cisco device to the Syslog server. Uh, basically what I have here is a, a Sys server edition of Ubuntu installed and that's it. Uh, and also I installed uh, prior to this video uh, the Syslog D app. Uh, basically what you need to do is you do sudo app get install six log d and because I already have it installed uh, it's uh, not going to install it again and then you need to change your IP address uh, actually you need to check you want to check your IP address because by default uh, Ubuntu uh, uh, configured with DHCP the Ethernet zero is configured with DHCP and you need to change that to a static address so the devices can uh, consistently uh, send syslog messages to the server. Uh, for that you go ahead and change uh, slash etc slash network interfaces file and if like uh, by default it's DHCP so you basically change that to static and then you add your IP credentials And once you do that, uh, you need to restart uh, the, uh, the networking. What happened is once I restarted, I lost my CQCRT uh, terminal window. So basically, I need to open up another uh, window with the, the correct IP address. So I'll do that. Okay, now if I verify my IP address, it's 192.168.1.10, which I entered statically and uh, now I uh, just want to make sure that uh, I can ping the, the switch I'm using as a syslog uh, device, I'm um, syslog client uh, that which will send syslog messages to the server so it's uh, 192.168.1.1 so let me make sure that I can have the IP reachability to that device which I did so now uh, we need to enable syslog uh, server to receive remote syslog messages. Uh, for that you need to do uh, minus r under this option, syslog D option. And then you restart the syslog uh, daemon. Uh, service save, sorry. And uh, at this point, uh, let me show you the file that uh, I'm looking at. It's 
under slash var slash log and we're looking at syslog that's where the that's where all the f uh, the syslogs will be uh, coming into uh, I can actually check this file real time if I do a tail minus f uh, syslog and if I configure syslog in in the Cisco device uh, basically I do logging on and then logging host my syslog server IP address and also I configure logging trap that's my uh, severity level and uh, I'll, I'll send all syslog types uh, which will uh, which will be uh, debugging and up so that's pretty much I need to do uh, in the router um, uh, in the syslog device and you see that uh, by default use UDP port 514 and I'm sending to uh, 192.168.1.10 uh, let me generate a syslog message just like that now uh, what I found out is that there is a uh, kind of a, like a bug uh, in this uh, syslog the uh, application that it tries to uh, look for a uh, DNS so basically if I try to generate more syslog messages actually you see that it's not it's not the same message let me try to generate a couple of more you see that they don't come uh, timely as you expected uh, this is due to the fact that the syslog server trying to do a DNS look up uh, on uh, the client that it's sending and uh, basically you could uh, I, I thought that I can disable this uh, by uh, our syslog uh, I'm sorry uh, on our syslog Uh, it says uh, minus x disables DNS lookup on messages received with the minus r uh, but my testing didn't uh, resolve that issue uh, just by adding minus r over here so basically I uh, I need I had to uh, configure a host name for the uh, for this uh, for the client basically if I do and if I add under slash host uh, yeah, add one nine two one sixty eight dot one which is the client and I put any name basically put the host name of the of the device and save that and then if I do now if I try to do it comes up into instantaneously so that's and also you see that its name is changed to uh, syslog switch so that's something I uh, couldn't figure out uh, 
by changing the uh, the parameters or the or these options. So I just had to add uh, a host name in the, uh, the slash hc uh, slash host. I'm sorry, the host file. Uh, apart from that, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you can generate all the syslog messages into uh, the syslog file. Uh, that's about it. Alright, thanks.